microphone was muted. Anyways, lords and ladies, welcome to my stream five years later with your host, Jake. Um, did I get banned off of YouTube? So I keep buzzing Twitch and stuff. First of all, I've been advertising the streams on Twitch ever since the incident back in June that meant that I couldn't post on YouTube. That's all resolved, by the way. Essentially, also even the strike got resolved because that was actually removed on, on August 19th. So yeah, it's been a while. The reason I keep the streams, the live ones, on Twitch is so that that incident that happened on YouTube doesn't happen again. It never happens with any of the bots because they run checks about this stuff and they manage to, I don't know, do whatever it is they do. And then it turns out original content. But in the moment, they could do that. So that's basically why. So that's why these, these things come up on Twitch on the day to keep my promise. And then the bots happen sometime later, which possibly end up being a blessing in disguise. So yeah, that's clarified. Welcome back to My Street Five Years Later with our usual guest, Aaron DeVest. Yay! I have good timing. I don't know what you're speaking about, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, he came in during the middle of the speech, so... It's basically because Maya was asking if I got banned off YouTube for some reason. Yes, you're so banned off YouTube. The most recent Mutant Girl upload uh, didn't well, happen. Well, I mean, forget that. I posted a Walking Wednesday two days ago. Yeah. I need, my, I need to adjust my camera. I don't know. Well, yeah. you're more adjusted than usual because normally you don't even own the camera. So okay, wait. Let me. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm, ch I'm chilling. I'm not used I to. I have to make sure the pillow is fine because otherwise I end up. Because I don't have my usual setup right now, so I'm slouching. So don't, think don't you go slouching, <laughs> mister. If I'm slouching too much, what I can do is that. When I'm, I actually put my computer, because I'm a tall person, I put my computer in a pile of books, so it's about like this level or something, so that, that's fine, usually. But obviously, I don't have that pile, I don't have a table in front of me. So, you know, I just gotta make do like this. Yeah. Anyways, uh, today we'll be doing the part two of the finale. I'm surprised Ghosty isn't here. Right? surprised she isn't here. Normally she is here for these kind of things. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I received no. I received no news from Ghosty at all. So I don't know. I did kind of invite Shorty to the stream as well, just in case I know that you two need to speak about things. So. Well, yeah, but he isn't feeling very well. Remember? Did you not um, see the message in the Butter Bunch? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, by the way, just for clarification for Twitch, uh, they haven't fought. No, well, yeah, no, we're fighting. Me and Shorty are fighting. We're gonna have a fist fight. <laughs> it's a YouTube boxing match, guys. Woo! Okay, so I see what happened here. That's so that um that message actually came in after I sent him the invites. Oh so. yeah, I mean, it was about to be like uh yeah, I don't think uh, he can't really speak right now. He's kind of has an issue, so I don't think he's able to join. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. All right. Well, that's dealt with. Oh, I had somebody left. Okay. <laughs> Enough time wasting. That's good. It's not just us, it seems, for the time being. I've also made those bit. Right. Without further distraction, on with the reaction. Oh, we're starting out dramatic. Ooh. Yeah, right where we left off as well. Uh, is that the way you the bad boy? <laughs> What is the face as well? Hello, it's me, Ian. The rage. Okay. So, so, again, having all these people have no no like, people hearing whatsoever. Derek, because like, right in front of Aaron, you can hear him breathing. I don't know, this is one of those sounds where werewolf hearing comes into account, I guess. Because the plot yes. demands it. But yes, a mere episode after they actually exposed it as even a thing. Melissa! Rachel! 
Oh yeah, and she shielded Kawhi Chan. Again, we I talk about this later, but Kawhi Chan apparently is just able to blatantly stare in Aaron's eyes and be fine, apparently according to season six. So that moment it always confused me. It's just like, oh no, protect Kawhi Chan of all people. Like uh Well, I mean it wasn't like she was went up and Melissa went up like Kawhi Chan and Garth and Zane. So like I mean, they were all they were all equally like yeah, but Kawhi Chan yeah. is just as protected as uh, as you in know. In the moment, I don't think they're going to analyze like, oh wait, we have to shield them. Well, I think okay. No, here's my thing though. Here's my theory. Afmal didn't fit. No, no, Afmal. Yeah, Afmal forgot the scene, but Afmal forgot. Afmal just had changed her mind and had Kawhi Chan be able to see Aaron's eyes. Like, I think that's what happened behind the scenes. Like, she was like, you know what? No, Kawhi Chan. Kawhi Chan's mutant. I'm, 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 I'm mutant. <laughs> yeah. Actually, um, it was just before we said that, um, it was, what was it? It was Blaze and Maria who weren't supposed to be in this originally, and that's why they, uh, and that's why, like, you couldn't see them on screen at the moment. I mean, that's not too bad because it would be immune regardless. But, wait, but also comes to the later, the reason that I don't like six episodes stick because blaze is not meant to know that aaron's an ultimate but yet he was but actually, but know. okay here's the counter argument to why you should at least somewhat be neutral in the episode the okay. afmal and zane scene that scene is brilliant and, and beautiful where oh, afmal kicks <laughs> him on butt no that's the episode where she kicks someone's butt that's why I remember about it. So you oh, know what? Yes, yes. I remember, as much as as much as that scene that? makes it doesn't work as well, and it's mostly there just for drama. At least I can say that episode has a good scene in it, like a good redeeming scene that makes the episode almost worth it in my eyes. I, <laughs> the episode almost worth it. Okay, I was gonna say that first scene redeems the entire thing, but as you said the phrase, it makes it almost worth it. Let's see what I can understand that. We'll get because I love, now. I love, I, I want to swear and say uh, bad, you know, the other word. But, yeah. you know, uh, I want I want to see Afmal kicking people's butts, which we don't we don't get to see very often. I love that. Okay. Also, okay. when the I few mean, times we get to see a werewolf Afmal, which I'm so annoyed. Like, what's the point of turning her into a werewolf if you're not even going to show it during the climax of season six? I'm so upset about that. <laughs> You have to be an angel instead. I mean, you I like the fact. Oh wait, Emily. Oh yeah, I forgot Emily. Yeah, he's kind of like a werewolf angel. Thing. I don't know. Kind of, but I mean, like one of her one of uh, 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 one of her OCs that she had at one point was an angel. So well, she's a go. werewolf. So I mean, hey. <laughs> hey, you know what? Actually, if she, if she has no an angel of seed to spare at some point, I'm sure that's going to appear in some background shot of Fallen Angels somewhere. Mm, probably. Anyways, let's keep going. Yeah, and I do say background shot because unlike when I started Mutant Girl, I know the difference when someone says use my character in a scene. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's go. Get a hold of yourself! Aaron! Aaron Lightman! Calm yourself! I, I hate name in full, in public. I'll stop it. Ian, what? What did he say? See again. Now everyone can hear everything. Okay, unnecessary. Aaron! No, I mean, I mean, I agree with Derek being punched. I agree. <laughs> okay, yes, fine. If it was anyone else, I'd be more annoyed. But yeah, uh, I agree. I, 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 I punch Derek. Punch Derek. I agree. Okay. I agree. Oh, Derek! No, not Derek. Garen! What did you do? Garen! No, this is, this is why you need to, like, someone's like, pinch yourself. Like, make sure you actually come to, like, oh, wait, I've got your eyes. You go, his eyes are red or something. I don't know. Something like that. Which why, you know, you get boob lines like this and getting away. Yeah, and Garen was like, hey, Aaron, wait up! Oh, and of course, this reveal. Please stop! You lost control! By the uh, way, this actually is like a visual contrast between the time this happened and the last time when 
transform either, I don't know, the Ian lookalike, um, as I don't think that that was pose, but you shut her eyes because she was that, a werewolf. Pet. That wasn't meant to be. That wasn't meant to be Ian. I'm pretty sure that was meant to be Ian. Look well, like. Regardless of who it was, the point is this shot parallel that other one. Yeah, it's pretty good in that regard. And yes, double reaction. I mean, always like. I mean, I have a weird number of guests depending on who on who's the other. No. He's already. Yeah, someone help him, please. Don't just leave him there. No! Please! Grab him, Mom, grab him! Come back to me! <gasps> oh, Aphmouth's heartbeat. Hmm. Or is that his heartbeat? Because like, it's zooming on his chest. Oh, wait, maybe since Aphmouth's a werewolf, we can hear his heart now. Oh! I mean, hey. Yeah, I can't do anything about the stream uh, glitching, by the way, because that's every connection up in Tokyo. My man's internet connection is it varies. I mean, better or worse than. than uh, uh, I, uh, Ian, Ian is here. What? The drama, the scene, of the <laughs> drama. I, I don't. What's the matter? Sell him. Actually, that's a very good point. All of the werewolves should be able to smell Ian because they have because I, was able, I was able to track Athmal before when she was taken, or was it or was or was it Zane who was taken? Anyway, he was trying to track someone who was taken in Emerald Secret from way far away. And I was saying that I was saying that I could fix the glitching. What did you do? You dropped her, didn't you? Oh, yes! Well, I'm more concerned about him turning Ath now rather than Garth, who is dying on the floor! Again, Derek, may I reiterate, is still abusive father. I am sorry. I do not oh. like Derek. Derek sucks, and he is abusive. He abused Aaron he's also psychologically like for years. He's neglectful of anyone else. He's neglectful of anyone else outside of his immediate family. Did to protect her. Do you even ring? It worked. In this instance, it worked. To yeah, protect yeah. Her. what you've done. Un I did do it on win. What earth possessed you to freak out? Well, you G, you see. Oh, now you, you care about Gara. Now you see, care I, about Gara. I could, Gara. Really, I could really explain this like in huge detail or something, you know. Okay, have a good conversation. Sit down. Have a cup of cocoa at the time. But there's someone on the floor dying. Yeah, no. Right now, now. It... right here in the middle one. He's here. He at okay. The one who I tried know. to it, kill okay. me. Here's the thing. He said, he, he said Ian is here on two separate occasions. Yeah, Derek, you know he, the. Other you do realize he has trauma, though. I mean, he's he has some actual trauma, like. You can't just be, oh, you had a PTSD attack? Oh, oh, get over it. You can't do that. You're in public. Like, I'm pretty sure when someone has trauma, it's not like it's just like, oh, oh, yep, yeah, we're in public. Let me walk out of the vicinity of people. You know what? You know, you know something. I don't like normally Derek. I, normally, I would say Derek doesn't understand. So he should. Yeah, no, he's my fiance. Okay, hang on a second. I don't know, would you rather that Aaron turned her and he's screaming in pain, or didn't turn her and to not scream in pain? I mean, regardless of screaming in pain, you know, one of them now is Garth, so whatever. Fiance. I hate how this oh, yeah, scene has so know. much to reveal. Like, so much is revealed in this scene. I kind of wish it was simplified. I don't think that it's a scene. I'm upset about the fact that, it, the fact that it, you know, it was executed so weirdly. But yeah, but like, no about. one's like checking on Garth, no one's like, hey Garth, you alright over there, you're not dying? Exactly, I don't mind like a hectic scene that has a lot of reveals all at once. And if anything, if Garth hadn't actually fought that moment, then this would have been an appropriate reaction from everyone that was going on. But he did, so someone give him some medical attention please. Some doctor mom, please. Posed? <laughs> ah!
Uh, oh, who cares no. about their proposal? No. Who cares no. about their proposal? It doesn't matter right now. Someone's dying. Yeah. Doris. Doris. Please hold quick. I'm gonna take them to because during the whole conversation they just didn't react. We get him back home. Please, Maria. And yet, MD, no, no one has any fingers. <laughs> it's not a shock. Oh, wait, you haven't seen the ring yet, that's why. Yeah, we talked about the ring in Crossing yeah, and Knuckle. Yeah, kind of smushed it in there, it, it's great. Yeah, we, we, we've covered that, don't worry. Also, also, hello, pretty nice. Please, let's carry him back! Nice! I'm on it! Uh, now they're there, <laughs> they're in off-screen, or not even in the... Not even, like, load into the scene at all. And now they're just, like, there. They were just out. I know they weren't meant to be there originally, but again, you wrote them into the scene in the previous episode. Okay, just write, write literally a line about them being like, oh no, we need to, gotta go back to a resort to get some food or something like that. Or maybe have them walking back in the scene and then them questioning what happened and then maybe Rachel immediately being like, no time, Garth's hurt, you know, and then bam. Yeah, see, they almost, I think they almost did. I think that was the plan, but something, something the scenes I'm not sure. Garth! No! You stay from him! Done enough damage as it is! Oh, and make him feel worse! I have no idea right now. Yeah, yeah, great. That you both have some explaining to do! Garth is dying! House. Who gives a crap if half of us a werewolf or not? Now! Again. This is why, again, he is mm -hmm. abusive. I, he hasn't learned, and it's frustrating. If you want me to like this character, don't have him be abusive! Yeah, here's the thing. I think it seems that from Mappa's perspective, none of the parents actually learn that well because they're always said that. It's almost like you, know, you can only be you can only be a teenager or like in your early 20s, like the next that's early 30s, depending on like the age of the people in my streets. To have a character arc, everyone else has to stay the same and live with their past. No, I mean, mistakes. they like, have a character arc, but then go back on their character arc because those character traits are still there for some unknown reason, and like they still haven't learned. Maybe screaming at people isn't helping. Yeah, no, <sighs> I don't like Derek, as you can obviously tell. Oh, God. We'll <laughs> And Garth down here dying. <laughs> what is Melissa doing to dive in? What, what was that? Uh, maybe, maybe she's, she's funny. She's probably putting painkillers in it. Oh, she's adding more morphine or something? Yeah. yeah. Irene's name, were you thinking? I didn't mean to affect Garth! This is uh, also another another mirror scene because in the finale of season 4, we had somebody else recovering, uh, you know, with intensive care, and also a big revelation scene. Except this time, was Derek confessing? I don't know if or not. Probably not. This isn't about him right now. You better not bring him through. Yeah, right now, you know, he, he's, I, off, I, he's off doing his own thing, you know, whatever. Okay, no, I just, I just, I just, I just don't like how Derek is like, oh, don't worry about Garth right now, God, even though I literally said a line which would make you feel even worse by blaming you for having yeah, a yes, freak yeah, out, yeah, you know? Forget your dying, forget your dying friend, it's not like I tell someone in the past know exactly what you're going through here, nah, whatever. Set in motion for him. Actually, good question. Who did Derek turn? Imagine if it was uh, Derek the whole time. Right no, now I'm more cool. concerned about what you did to her. Oh my. It's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, he's more, he's more concerned about the person who already survived and went through your deal than the person currently experiencing it. Yeah. Do not play dumb for his sake. No, and, and, yeah, he's no. not. He's, yeah, no, uh, th again, Derek sucks. By the way, expect more Debrant when we get to Falcon Floor University. This is only a, a taste oh, of what is to Oh god, I Don't forgot! Don't yell at her! You 
returned her. There is way she would be standing right Oh, yeah? Head. You know, I'll I reply to you, Derek. Just... I'll be like, oh, yeah, I can make you a human. Do you want to be a human? That's my <laughs> that's, that's true, yeah. You can, uh, yeah. I, I, could, I could turn you back. I can. I he know how. Agree. He did agree to turn guard back at some point. Straight in the eye, and she didn't even flinch. The only way she would be able to do that is if you... Nice. Actually, like, getting a vision back from Jordan, you know, after trying to weigh in and Derek dropping her again. He actually did it. Yes. Yes. You did it. It was Eric's fault. I... I had reasons. But in Irene's name would possess you to do such a thing. He might the answer the question you've asked him now. Three no, days. screaming at him will help. And only. <laughs> the spend the rest of my life with. The reason I turned her was for her own safety. That's not. You had mom. Mom was already a werewolf, and you didn't have to worry about turning her. Well, what? Is she? That's just a theory. She was what? already a human. That's, that's a part of the lore, unless Afmo decides to change it. I mean, Afma, knowing Afma, she probably would be like, oop, I said that? Oh, I didn't say that. I mean, that, I didn't yeah, you know, pay VAs to say lines. Thematically, it would be a huge twist. Derek would be essentially letting Aaron off here for something that he, he accidentally did in the past as well. Derek doesn't, doesn't need, Derek doesn't need any more help being a horrible person. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I he does it quite well on his own, actually. Yes, that's fair. I'm losing her. Oh, and it depends like, yeah, I swear I would tell about the humans. Yeah, exactly. Ian is the big proof. Well, actually, it's also a good, a good point. What is the range of ultimate art? Because Aaron stared Ian down while he was, like, smiling and going and walking away in the previous scene. Uh, I don't th I think, I think there was a range. With, 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 I don't know. <laughs> yeah, See, that, that's, that's my question. I don't, yeah. It's kind, of, it's, kind of like, it's kind of like in the Chamber of Secrets, like in Harry Potter, when they talk about the basilisk. Is there a safe distance to observe this eyes, or is it just if the light from there, like refracted from them, touches you? I don't know. Uh, um, no, you imagine what that log would change him and spot entirely. That was, I think, the idea in that scene. Yet again, it's even the threat of death on the sun couldn't change him. But, uh, yeah, we still have the same old Derek. Does it the end of the weird to change? I think that's going to be the end of the world. Probably when angels. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Grandma fails me yet again. Oh, it's fine. You know, it fails me all the time. Do you understand? Your actions have consequences. Oh, yes. you think? Thank you That's for telling me. I my actions have consequences. Hey, you know what also has consequences, Derek? Your Everything. actions. Yeah, I, as he discovered in that season four finale. Biology, her bone structure, everything has changed. Oh no, I was after all of that. Yes. What are doctors going to do when they look at her medical records and realize that she's changed? Okay, now that's actually a very good question. Okay, because that valid be point, but you could explain it more calmly, like, hey, Aaron. I don't think he, I don't think Derek can be calm right now. I think he's just like, there is no way he... No, he's going back into his old ways, you know, because, like, because abusing Aaron is, like, fun in his pastime. I mean, he would never talk to Melissa like this. Like, he would yeah. never treat her like this. Like, Aaron pointed it out at one point, I think. But, like, yeah, but, like, no, you would never treat Melissa like this. Uh, but she's not cursed. So what? She's still a person. Aaron's still a human being. You know? That's not... They're going to make links, Aaron. People don't... Werewolves. I wasn't going to risk her dying from an accident. Then you should have thought twice about your temper, Aaron. The very fact that one of your friends at this very moment. I uh, see. Only bring up Garth when you have to guilt him. No yeah. Other time is lying in his room suffering because of you. It shows me that I never should have let you have relationships. Well, okay. Oh, and there he goes. Derek. He's a grown man 
He can make his own decisions. Let the man be himself. But you yeah, abusive. I think, Riddle, I think Riddle's about to come in clutch for a second. Hold on. Yeah. He isn't a child anymore. Yeah, good. Yep. Do not steal what he's cursed. Ma? Okay, how long were you standing there still and how long did you realize that? You're an idiot. <laughs> Derek, I that It's just fake ears and all. It's like a Melissa wanted on me. <laughs> and none is done. Yeah. Yelling is going to do anything. But he- We should be rejoicing that this engagement. But as it stands, it seems we need to come together and choices have been made today. Oh my fact. You know what? Right. I don't care, but wait, leave, leave my drink for Rachel. Yeah, wait, wow, Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, no, Rachel, 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 Rachel yeah. actually being level-headed. You know? Yeah. Because uh, Derek is I, infuriating, I, I in my opinion. It's weird, because like I remember like Rachel, when she was an antagonist, her time was to take out of his relationship, but not because, but not because of the ultimate thing. I don't think that was even decided yet. That was because to reunite the family. So if anything, if anything, actually, it's surprising that the exact same motivation here to keep a family together actually serving her well here. She just seems to know how to go out at this time, you know, rather than, you know, be drastic or do something to be desperately manipulative. So she's had, she's had the change, but it's more subtle than possibly might give her credit for. So yeah, she gets the lead voting for today. Yeah. Indeed. Afma, may I please speak with you in private? Ah, uh, yes, come together and start what's happened. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my daughter to speak to her in private. I mean, it's a mother-daughter moment, you know? I mean, I know the conversation coming up, and to be fair, that conversation only works when they're alone. Because it'd be kind of awkward having other people sit there and, like, listen or just have them butt in, because, like, it's a very personal conversation. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We're about to get to one of, one of Savannah's most like logical and sensical and good moments in the whole show. <laughs> yes, mom. Aaron, please. I need you to explain to me two things. One, why did you turn up now? And two, why did you have your outbreak of rage? And that's all it boils down to. I mean, I still don't like how people aren't considering Garth. Like, listen, Garth's dying. Don't worry, don't worry, these two. <laughs> I've been a doctor. Daniel. Oh, God, I forgot we had a cute moment in here. All right. I mean, I love this moment, yeah. but, like, it's kind of tonally insensitive. It's so it's so it's so it stands out so much if someone might have forced me to write a reference to it in through her eyes. Please. Twice. Where's the patient? He's upstairs. Take you to him. We have, we have out here Daniel being being like cutesy and then you know. I was gone. Something happened actually in written up in six episode six ten, because that was when I was like that cave and that cave thing came off. I... I don't know. He's in utter pain. Melissa gave him some severe painkillers to calm him down from screaming. So yeah, it was Morgan from before, yeah. Is he? Please. I don't know anything on his condition. All I'm going to tell you is that he's in pain, but... At least he's alive. That's... That's... Hey, look. The only comforting thing that I can tell you is that Daniel's mom is one of the only doctors that has dealt in cases of Aaron's family. She's a good doctor, and that's why Mr. Lycan had her here on the island, in case something like this happened. That's a weird connection to, like, Aaron and the whole ultimate thing. He just doesn't see Aaron with his ears out, and also his mom was, you know, was, was high by Derek the whole time. It's a multi-generational connection, I suppose. Yeah. Just... But my, but my question with this actually is, in season four, you know, no one was allowed into the room to see Anne in case, you know, his rage has got better to always ask about Alex during the treatment or something, which is why he had to go away for a year in the first place. Why is Blaze allowed to enter see Dorothy this time? He doesn't have the same issue. 
take it easy, knowing that she can try to help. Thanks. Although I, I do wonder what they what he actually thinks that is going on at Garth. Like I wonder what he thinks because like it's yeah, kind of confusing in season six. In Aaron's family, but he knows that Garth's thing had to do with Aaron's family, but not the fact that he was the ultimate. Yeah, sibling. like like what did he think? Did he think that Aaron accidentally hurt him really bad? But even so, he doesn't physically look like he's hurt. I mean, unless that's a Minecraft limitation, but he doesn't look like he's like all scratched up and bruised and stuff like that. So I don't I mean I don't... we're running out of excuse is at the end of the play is not being not knowing because yeah or it was like one scene was an error that's fine but if it's one scene that's an error then you, you know you script you something with play like... then put in another one and give him expository information he would have known way beforehand yeah i see if that's the case then i can understand why aaron wanted to turn you but what i can't understand Understand is why did he turn? Huh? This decision. I want to hear your reasoning. I. I would make a joke here, but everything that I could say about this, about this, I've always said in previous streams, and so is about to repeat again. I wanted to turn because I wanted to understand Aaron better. Oh wait, well, I can make one joke. I wanted him to be my alpha. Oh go. my god. <laughs> That's my one joke. Okay, let's move. I felt that something was calling me to... What? I didn't want Aaron to be going alone from something again. I wanted him to know I was there, and... That's not a good reason to become a werewolf. Mija, we are Hispanic. Someone doesn't have to become Hispanic in order to understand us. That's ignorant and flat out disrespectful to that culture. Essentially... That's what you did. I... I didn't think about it that way. No, you didn't think about it that way. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not mad, I'm just what? disappointed. Yeah, so see, so <laughs> I was way more intimidating when she's not, like, screaming at the top of her lungs. Oh, we're probably going to start a connection, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I it's a little bit laggy, but I think we're fine. Mm. I would, well, the VOD will be okay once we get, once we get, I don't know. Um, people in the chat say something if you can see this, please. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, but, I'll do, I'll do but I mean, I like the scene between Silvana and Aphmau, but I don't know. I just think, I think the whole thing with the whole Derek scene just kind of got me riled up. Um, I mean, as, I, as much as, uh, again, as much as Silvana, you know, Derek is not worse. Yeah, no. Yeah, screw Derek. You said that something was calling to you. What do you mean? I... I don't know. I felt hard of me wanting to be turned. But for the idiotic reasoning I had, it wasn't justified. It... <sighs> me, uh, Yes. You had a dumb reason for turning. But that calling... Perhaps a part of this is my fault. So bottom of missing guilt, this is a first. Mia. <laughs> wow. She's culpable in some way? Wow. Yep. <clears throat> Father. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Oh yeah, no, don't go back on it now. What do you mean you don't mean you never mind? This is clearly important. Tell me. It's nothing. I have to go. I mean, you just sat at my like, her confess everything, Silvana. You do the same. No! Mom. Okay, great. We can see the stream still going. <laughs> Alright. Fantastic. You never, ever bring up Dad. Not a little. Did you ever even mention him? Not to my face! No, just doing a graduation party because we didn't want to show up. Now suddenly you mention him? It's not important. Mom. Miha, he's, he just, your father was a werewolf. Mom, if you're trying to make me feel better for a stupid decision that I've made. I mean, clearly she's not, she's disappointed in you, she's not making me feel better at all. This isn't the way I 
Miha. It's true. Your father was a werewolf. <laughs> You're lying. I sweat on my grave. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh my. <laughs> take out. Why am I not? You didn't take after him. Human and werewolf relationships don't always produce children of the same descent as their parents. Exactly, because of alleles. And that's how genetics work, which is why I had a whole theory about the ultimate stuff I never heard of. It's not about much, but whatever. It's either... Oh, you know what? I need to make that. We talk about this all the time, and it comes up again five years later. Yeah, it's time. One or the other. Oh, hold on. Uh, you know, you know who... You know, you know who would have kick out of this scene. I legit forget their name. One who likes to get on their case by respecting werewolves properly. Um, I guess ghosty, maybe? I don't know. Rather than you, you were pure human. Oh, but you still had your father's blood in you, which is why when you said that you had a calling, I thought, maybe it was that part of you. You know, the part that didn't help her in high school at all and made her suck at everything to do with werewolves for ages. Well, to be fair, I wasn't trying in high school, to be fair. Well, yeah, but if she had a calling or any sort of connection, it would have manifested then. Probably. I mean, it did manifest that... eventually in season two of Phoenix Drop High, when she wasn't in the class. So I guess in a way, naturally it came out. Naturally. I mean, in season two, she actually had to like do separate research again about werewolves afterwards. Pardon you. When you entered high school. Huh? What do you mean? When you entered high school, I... I put you in the werewolf class on purpose. What? I wanted to see if you would take me to it. Then... And so I left you there for an entire... Maybe... Maybe I would try to reconnect with your father. Wait, what? Why? What? You and Dad break apart? You never told me. Yes, I have. I told you he was selfish, a jerk. He painted a beautiful picture, but in the end, he was... So he was like you, then. That doesn't give us anything. What happened? Your father and I, we... We were married. We were going to, but then... Before you were born, I discovered that he... That he... He had cheated on me. Okay. Contra no. No. Well. Contradiction. Contradiction. We yeah, have. Yeah, in the trade of season six, we do see, like, Afghan was, like, very clearly not a baby and, like, has full power of speech. I think. I would have thought she was, like, six or something. Maybe a little bit younger, possibly four or five. Maybe four. Four, three, three, four ish area. Yeah, I don't know. Something, something like that. I mean, if you No, so game, again, this cool. is a contradiction. I mean, again, I feel like Aphma doesn't realize what she wrote with these characters' backstories and stuff like that. Like, that's like, that's like Zach saying, oh yeah, I used to run a bakery when I was alive, when that was not clearly a part of his backstory. It makes no sense. I mean, Brock said maybe he was a, ba maybe he was a baker before he enlisted. I don't know, could have got a family business. Mm -hmm. Something like that. See, there's ways to work it into it if you do it properly, but if you don't look back at the actual, the actual source surely even if you want to make it more visual and do it later surely like look back at the thing that's all like publicly available on youtube and just watch it and see like okay fine you know i did this thing here whatever i mean if you forget like one round detail or something then you know that's fine i mean honestly we've both done it and i'll be the ones that call each other out on it um but even so we actually <laughs> so if it happens all the time that's more concerning he had tried. Oh yeah, retcons, retcons, they're bad for me and you. Retcons, retcons, yes, I think your story comes from another woman. And I didn't know about it until she called me and showed me proof. Wait, she showed you proof? Does that mean that like a birth certificate or photo or something? Like a birth certificate, I don't know, there photo or something. He never cared for me the way did when we met. He treated me horribly. There were just so many things that added up. Perhaps I would have tried to make it work if I had thought he had actually loved me. 
that he actually wanted to try and make this family work, but... My world was you. Hmm. See, here's the thing. The thing on one hand, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Obviously, why put in the effort if the other person isn't? It's fine. But, you know, at the, at the same time, didn't she actively try and, like, prevent him from getting back into contact? So surely yeah. even if he did, she, she, she prevented the idea of him putting in the effort that she wished that she had seen? I don't know. And yeah. I didn't That's want him weird. to do the same mm. thing to his family he did to me. I mean, there'd be nothing stopping him at that point. Um, I guess we're both idiots in some ways. Yes. Mom. Mm. You are not an idiot. Jesus, that's nice. <laughs> no, you're trying to make me feel better. A little. I never knew dad. And I never knew dad to actually try to reach out to talk to me. Yeah, because Solana stopped him. I just said that. Yeah, she kept changing the phone number, apparently. Like, not only that, but also you have a big friend gathering graduation thing so that he wouldn't show up. Care about me? <laughs> he helped raise you with money, which I never asked for. So, so if that shows you anything, that at least shows he cares about you. Hmm? Not enough to show up to anything, apparently. I'm, I'm not going to click on song again because I'm pretty sure it's not all dancing. So just pretend I did. I understand. It's best we don't think about him. I honestly believe he was up to no good thinking back on some of the things I remember. It's up to you if you ever reach out to him now that you know who he was. But I oh, yeah, now that you've been forced to tell you me. I'd personally advise against it. That's your choice, not mine. Thank you, Mom. For telling me... everything. It's no problem, Mia. I love I, you. I love I this love scene. You. The scene is great, but it has so many retcons, and I don't like it. It gets retconned a lot later, so it kind of annoys me. But I yeah, love the scene. The, at, at the time, it was, it was great. He's the best in this episode. And, and, like, you know, obviously the best one for Sylvana overall. And, you know, five years later, watching it back, unfortunately, that's a part that has um, changed lots. So, what's going on with your tail? It's, um, I honestly don't know. Aaron and I were talking about this the other day, and my tail doesn't seem to have developed yet. No, so you just have to be more excited, that's when it comes out. Does it hurt? No, it just looks funny. Mom, do you know if Garth is alright? No, but I overheard what's happening. This could mean serious trouble. Yeah, only Blaze is allowed in there for some reason. You can tell he's still shouting. He oh. was there! I saw him! I saw him and I wanted to! Aaron, pull yourself! What? Your eyes, son. <sighs> Ian is dead. He never recovered the body! See, here's what we, I think was what Ghosty was talking about the sitcom convention. If you don't see a body, that means the person can come back. I saw him, I swear! Aaron, you said this. Remember? Yeah, and you're on the same island as the last time. It's wild. There was a guy who looks just like him. Also flipped out then. That was. I've heard enough. It's clear to me, Aaron, that you are unstable right now. What? While I agree with your father on your anger, I do not agree that we should dismiss the fact that Aaron might have seen something. Aaron, did you see anyone else with you? Uh. There is this other woman. Looks at her. She looks similar to Kate. What? She was what? there. She was there in a the scene. She was just from the distance where we're seeing the scene. We didn't get to see much of her face. But Elizabeth was actually there in a the scene. Okay, fine. Why isn't next to me? I need to step out. You know what? Well, you know what I think. 
You know what I think would have fixed it, fixed that scene though as well. What if Ian directly bumped into Aaron and then gave him a look? I don't know. Maybe if Ian, maybe if Ian like no, actually, if Ian like slowly like walked around, like I don't know, like in front of the front of it, across for a second, that would work. Come on, please. He's not good. The doctor we had on stage is seeing to him. Will he die? I... I don't know. The dramas. Mm -hmm. Oh, this scene. Oh, great. Don't make me get mad at Garte, too. Actually, wait, what? Am I gonna be mad at Garte as much? Yeah, no, I, I hate them both. I, he did just punch Derek, so whatever. I mean, okay, good job. You punched Derek. <laughs> Your job was to keep a monster son of yours control. And now I'm mad at Derek. Guard, 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 guard. Yeah, I was. I, I, I remember that line. I remember he was. Gonna yeah, that. you know, like I mean, I love the. Yeah, you can't just call him a monster. Listen, he's a person. He's a human. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's because of the like, it's all the remains. We can. Just leave, you know. <laughs> well, now thanks. One is on the brink of life and death. I'm oh, there. you chemically <laughs> abused your child, Garte. You experimented on him, or let it happen at least, you know. Yeah. Uh, so yes, you are not parent of the year either, Mister. <laughs> like or, or parent of the year thirty years ago. <laughs> My power yeah. to make sure he lives. Carte, please. If I see, you know, see, you know, act like these, like, you know, um, like uh, he's the one who messed up and uh, was the, uh, the one who's lost, uh, the recipient of the angle I went to say. It was an accident, but there's something else. What else could be more important than that? Elizabeth? Well, that's a very good question because you don't know, think that everything is more important than that. Smith is here, which means they're all here because Elizabeth never travels alone, apparently. Have who knows how to make forever potions? The one who tried to kill our kid. The drama. <laughs> 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 right. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna say this. I yeah. like the episode. It has some good scenes. I don't like Derek though. Isn't that just the isn't that just the most half mouth thing ever? You like the episode, it has some good scenes, but the characters are idiots. Yeah, no. Certain characters are idiots and deserve to be punched a lot more. I vote we punch Derek more, but you know, that's just me. Yeah, well that's what the process is there for. <laughs> Wait, we just like play a clip of him being Garth be, of, of Garte punching him over and over again. That just oh, it's just, it. just like just like loop it, it's just like you know. <laughs> it's just great. Oh my word! As long as, as, long as the character walks by, Chris is getting us. Uh, oh my! <laughs> I'm honestly surprised Afmau didn't bring back Derek or like Derek in like the new mini games, though. You know, I'm surprised. Surprised that didn't happen because you know, I mean, like Ian's there always, so I mean, Chris is on staff. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't like Derek, but still, I mean, I'm surprised she hasn't brought him well, back. Well, maybe, maybe that's doesn't come back. Maybe that's because, like, obviously, Ian has to be there to be the foil all the time. You can't have Pierce carry on his own. I mean, well, Pierce is more like dumb, but kind of evil, but not really that evil. Yeah, exactly. You, you need one who's like you know, mastermind, just be like all of that. Yeah, Zane. Zane is sometimes evil, but most of the time he's not evil. Most of the time he's a scientist for some reason because that's Zane's new characterization. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Oh yeah. Okay. I I like. The, oh wait. Pull wait a minute. Quote. That should have been Blaze. They should have brought, brought Jason Lord back in. Had Blaze be there because Blaze did have like the sciencey stuff going on. Listen, the mini games. Yeah. I mean, I forgot about that. I don't know. I feel like about it as well. Speaking of that, I like the I don't like the like the major cons. Red cons. Yeah, the red cons. The the cons that are red. I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. But that's, that's another thing. I will say, put this episode as uh, the second part of an half and half three parter. It's even one of the most solid entries there because, as in the description of it, it's actually made for a crescendo from the previous episode. Like, you know, I've got. Look at it from a structure perspective. You've got the rising action right now up to the point of crisis, and we then get the resolution next time. So, yeah, on, on that note, I suppose it actually works. It's better than what they did in season six with, you know, reborn fucking just. But yeah, that was the setup as would be React structure, but they prolonged it for like 15 minutes when it not need to be, for example. So, yeah, this time we actually have. We have the exciting side right at the end. Now we actually get, you know, not even the fallback, but also, you know, just everything getting more tense. So, yeah, I've coupled that with actually that really good sort of honor scene. But also, add that to remove Derek being an idiot again. Add back Rachel redeeming herself for season three. And this, there was a lot to the process and think about in this episode. Yes, ultimately, I would say it actually makes for a Combination. Despite Derek. Despite Derek. This, this, <laughs> that's just summary of the series. Oh, the series is good. Despite Derek and a lot of the adults. <laughs> well, I can say the same for Falcon Blore in that room, actually. Well, to be fair, Derek was meant to be a jerk in there, but I just hate how Derek hasn't changed. Like, this is supposed to be like his latest develop some of his latest development, and he still clearly hasn't changed. It would, be, it would be more of a surprise to see him back in his old form actually during the was because before we had him into that and sort of scenes of Aaron having a confrontation with him, but mostly he was absolutely distant. But actually, actually he was on a bunch of times after all, so again, much more of a contrast. Oh well, so we enjoyed ourselves. So yeah, thanks for watching. Actually, I've got to check to see if Monday is on because it's been 11 months since I've dating, so try and try to see if she's actually free to think. So we shall find out. It's the air of on summer 29, so that's not, you know, that's not me reconning it. <laughs> or reconning it. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. But we see the finale. I guess the finale is going to be, I don't know, like, on the first one, I guess, because we've had two days wait time instead of three. Yeah. Um, if it is, if it's on, uh, if it's on Sunday though, I will say I will not be able to join the stream, unfortunately, because I have a convention to go to. So excitement. Oh yeah. Uh, not the one I told you about. That the one I told you about is on December tenth. But okay, you... well, oh, right, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, be sure to vlog experience for you. And no, apparently it is not that time. Afal could not contain herself. In her excitement, actually posted the last episode the following day. Ooh, so, so tomorrow, nice. Exactly. So we'll see everyone tomorrow for basically history of the entirety of my period, actually, and uncertain future. <laughs> episode five, time, same place, five years later. Until then, please leave a like, dislike, because you're okay, and follow if you're on Twitch and follow us already. Subscribe to YouTube already. That's my new, my, my new adaptation of that outro. And subscribe to as well. Just look up in the best. Yeah, whatever. Yes. Yeah.